Welcome back to Wine Time with Katie and Tosh. I'm Katie. And I'm Tosh. Today is not going to be a group of a specific grape. This is just the top five best rated wines at Walmart. So for the white wines, there were only two wines that were uh, considered the best at Walmart. Um, they didn't have any in stock. So the next best rated wine was decoy uh, so we replaced that but all of them the rest of them are uh, the one of the top wines at Walmart and I am excited to get into these wines because I have not had any one of these so you have your palate ready my palate is ready I'm ready let's get into let's it go. It's a 2019 Chardonnay. It's from uh, Sonoma County, California. The color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, it is, man. This is pretty. And this one seems to have a little carbonation uh, in it. Just a little. Uh, do you have any of yours? No, not really. No, yours looks weird. Maybe it's just you. Swirl. <laughs> you see it? You see yeah, the they do. What do you smell? It's, it's yeah with fruit. fruit. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. You never even see. This is um very fruit forward. Pear. Pear. Off the nose. Uh, smell. I feel like there's um a little bit of um what's that green? The green. The melon. Honey. Uh, honeysuckle. Is that no nah, honeysuckle? Yeah. It's not honeysuckle. That's what they use for some chardonnay. You sure it's honeysuckle? Yeah. yeah. The green lemon. No, I mean, I mean I the don't green, know. Uh, the okay. green melon that that be in the mix of of uh, fruits. You know, they have cantaloupe, pineapple, grapes. I think it's just called melon. Melon. Yeah. Put down in the comments. What is that fruit? What is the name of that fruit? <laughs> because I know it, it's something. It's like it's melon. Honeydew melon or something like honey that. Honeydew melon. Of, oh, maybe that's it. Is it it? Yeah. Pear. Pear. Very citrusy. Yeah. I'm excited to try it though. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right off the bat. Wow. Wow! That's a beautiful finish. Beautiful. Nice so, and smooth. So the tannins, I do feel them on the, the roof of my mouth, on yeah. my tongue. Um, man, it's, it, it feels like it has a lot of flavor in this. It does. Um, this is a great way to start, I tell yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> based on last um, time. Man, yeah, so wow. there's a lot of flavors in this. Um, I do feel like there's like that honeydew melon or whatever it's called, um, hair. I taste, uh, it seems very floral to me. There's like something in there. I don't, I don't, yes. I can't. Very floral. Put my hands or my, I can't put my foot on it, mm -hmm. but there is something floral about this that Makes it a really gorgeous. I'm gonna go taste. for another one. Yeah, it's so good, so good, guys. Already, we recommend it. Already, I see why people rated this so high. Yes. If you are a sweet mm. wine drinker, or maybe a medium sweet, uh, I definitely recommend this one. Yes, absolutely. This might get you. This might ha let you dabble in mm -hmm. to a little bit more because it, it is a little dry, just a little on the dry side. The sweet scale for this one uh, from one to 10, I think would be like maybe a three. Yeah. Yes, this one is definitely. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Cabernet Sauvignon, and it is from Columbia Valley, Washington. Mm -hmm. Never, I don't think I've ever had a wine from Washington. We have. Um, we 
Pinot Noir is really famous there, so we've had some Pinot Noirs from Washington, but we've never had a Cab Sauv. Sure? Mm -hmm. And Cab's, Cabernet Sauvignons are my favorite. Um, so I'm very excited for this one. Let's get into it. From the door. I'm, first off, I'm really excited to try this. You can smell. Yes, very aromatic. Right, very aromatic. right when you're pouring, it's like just coming up at you. Now, I don't know if you guys can actually see the glass, but the little trickles there on the side of the glass, how slow it comes down, lets you know how much alcohol content is in the wine. So if it's high, it should go down slow, pretty slow. You know, and this one, does. anything less, either you won't see any at all, or you'll just see them trickle down like rain on a window pane. Uh, and I didn't mean to rhyme, but you know that you know how it goes. Because <laughs> I'm nice like that. Anyway, <laughs> it's what do you smell? Um, blackberry. <sighs> And it smells so good. It does. Man, Blackberry, so good. maybe some, you know, cherry. It, I, it's just cherry. It's beautiful. Blackberry. I mean, look at that color. You My that, you goodness. Hit it on the nose. Some, uh, you know, just all around dark berries in there. I feel like there's a little bit of spice in there too. Yeah. A little bit of spice maybe there. like some pepper or. And it's a uh, kind of oaky. It's yes. oaky as well. Uh, I'm ready to try it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Off the bat, man, you taste that. Tobacco, oaky, uh, and, and when I say I don't <laughs> want to alarm anybody, uh, tobacco taste or smell doesn't mean literal tobacco. It yeah. just it just means like it's uh, it's smoky. Uh, smoky. You know, like how you would smoke cheese or a piece of meat or something like that. Very complex in taste, man. It's it's a bolder wine because Very of the Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's uh, a lot more fruit forward, fruit forward than the than the white wines. I feel like. Um, man, but it's very good, man. These are these are my favorite. It's my favorite bold. Wines. It's rich. Um, anybody, dr this would be more of a dry wine drinker. Yes. I wouldn't recommend it if you're like a Stella's my favorite wine. But for someone who appreciates the bolder um, wines. I would recommend this for you. Absolutely. So Cabernet Sauvignon is actually the baby of Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Franc. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. Um, if you if you like Cabernet Sauvignon, that's a little footnote for you. We definitely recommend this one right off mm -hmm. the bat, man. This is this is fantastic. Now these wines weren't cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they were a little bit higher in the price range of the last two videos. So you're gonna find these wines to be a little bit more complex than the other wines that we uh, reviewed and had before. So the next one we're gonna try is the Seven Deadly Sins. I can't wait to get into it. Let's get it. This one comes from um, Livermore and Ripon, California. What? Ever heard of that before? Never. In my entire <laughs> life. <Never laughs> but also haven't before. looked on a map either, so. Right. And uh, <laughs> the vintage for this one is 2017. Mm -hmm. Now, the alcohol content in this one, which, what, what was it? 15%. 15%. So this is probably the highest one that we have we've ever reviewed. Mm -hmm. Um, so this one, like this one, if we like this one and we, you know, recommend it to you guys, take it slow. Slow. Okay. You ready to get into I'm it? I'm ready. So what do you smell already? This is completely different yeah. from the Cabernet Sauvignon. That's very different. Very, very. I mean, this is, it's so, it's, it's so, um, cool and fun to, um, you know, see the characteristics of every individual wine. It's a, it's a Zippendale, it's a red Zippendale. Um, and it is just, I mean, it has so much character. And it, it's the smells alone. There's, um, I feel like this one is oaky as well, just yes. like the Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes, that's the first thing I would say is oaky. Yes, and the vintage on this one also is 2017, mm -hmm. just like the Cab Sauv. So the notes that I'm picking up right off the bat is like blackberries, um, maybe like a little bit of uh, pepper in there, um, 
because there, there is, there's like a little bit of spice to it as well. And again, just like last video, the smell and the things like that, kind of like setting up the wine prior to tasting the wine is all just a part of the experience. You know what I mean? Because they are not licensed sommeliers like a lot of people are. Um, we just enjoy wine, you know what yes. I mean? So, uh, but, uh, and we just picked up a few tricks along the way in the um, enjoyment of the whole process. So, but it's, you know, the, the characters and the, the, the smell, the mm. fragrance, the um, color of the wine. I'm just ready to get into it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. This has got to be one of the smoothest red wines <laughs> I think I've ever had in my entire life. Really? One of the smoothest red wines? You don't think it's smooth? smooth? Like, I would say that's very high uh, tannins. My Absolutely. mouth is, you know. But what about the smoothness, though? I don't think that's smooth. I think this one was smooth. That one just went right down. See, this is this sometimes one... sometimes we do split on, on, on palates as well. Yeah. Um, Which but you guys is, will too. Yes, but this there's is so smooth to me. There's no like burn. There's no um, you know the tannins are are medium. It's not uh, it's not high on tannin and it's not very low on tannins uh, either. Very low acidity. I feel like as well. But it's so smooth to me. You don't uh, you don't think so? I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> Maybe I need an extra taste. Who knows? I mean, it feel like water going down my throat, man. I don't think so. It's still man. good. It's definitely. Don't get me wrong. Actually, you know what? It is high on tannins. I I, I missed that the first time. Yes. When I just my did like what I my just mind, did, yeah. It's very high on tannins, which is which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's 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 uh this is um really really good. I really enjoy this. Actually. It's really good. Yes. Um. But again, yeah. dry. I don't think we said that. Dry. So remember. If you're a Stella, this is not the wine for you. But it's good for people that yeah, like it's... dry wines and you know really are attracted to more of the reds, dry reds at that. This would be a good one for you. Yes, this is definitely uh, a dry wine. This and this would, I mean, if you were having a barbecue, you guys are cooking hamburgers, ribs, hot dogs, uh, chickens, whatever you, you whatever you prefer. <laughs> I would definitely you say, got to have this at the barbecue. I would say a steak for sure. Meats in general, you got to have this at the cookout, the party, the get together, the kickback. It don't matter what it is, man. If you're babysitting, have this at the house. I'm babysitting? Okay. No. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs> Everybody's been waiting for this one, for us to get to this one, just because of the appearance, the color is so beautiful. Um, but we've had rosés in the past to where it looked beautiful. The bottle was curvy and everything. <laughs> and uh, we tried it and it was dry. It was a dry one, very low sweetness. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try this one for you guys today. So if you like the color, you know, you like rosés, um, this will be your marker for whether you pick it up for a party, get together, you know, kick back or something like that, and you can try it out for yourself. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now, the color. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's all I want to say. It's like a rose gold, man. It's a, it's a rose gold. Now, a little fun fact about how they make this wine so they use you can use any red grape for this it doesn't really matter you can use any red grape for it so what they do is they smash them together and they take the skins out quickly so that is that the only thing that's left is that little reddish pink color oh 
Oh. Um, that's how they get the color, and that's how the basic um, rosés are made. What do we smell? Rosés usually tend not to be so complex. They're usually straightforward. I just smell rosé. <laughs> Stop. Hold on. It smells delightful to me. Strawberry. Mm-hmm. Ready to get into it? Ready. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As soon as it hit my tongue, wow. man. Wow. Knew it was gonna be, I, as soon as it hit my tongue, I knew it was gonna be what we expected of it. I'm glad it didn't disappoint. It did not. Like, it's bright, it's airy, it's sweet, it's it, crispy. This is, this is definitely a summer wine. Yes. When And summer's coming soon. Once we get through spring, once summer gets here, you guys go get the Riscato. Wow. You go on the beach with your little sandy toes and the thong flops <laughs> and stuff like that. With, you know, and you know, where they be burying your friends in the sand and leaving them there for two days. Oh no my. Water. <laughs> go and do that. When you guys go ahead and do that, get this bottle. Right it here. is so good. This is one of those wines where if you want to go out with your girls, go for brunch. It's not dry, it, like it's sweet. So if you yeah. like more of a Stella, this would be Stella worthy. On our scale, from one to 10, this has got to be a six. I would agree. Well, maybe, yeah, six, seven, definitely. Not overly sweet. I agree with him. Six or seven, for sure. That's what I said. The Riscato is very, very good. Mm -hmm. This is a casual wine. Casual, casual wine. If you're going out on a date, kickbacks, like I said, uh, get-togethers, graduations, uh, gender reveals. You can <laughs> go ahead, except for the mom. Sorry, mom. You can go ahead and get into this Riscato, man. I this have is a nice this is little very glass good. of yeah, Riscato. The alcohol content on this one is very low. It's a uh, 8%. So, um, don't have to worry about anything on this one. So, you, if you need an extra glass, you can go ahead and go for it. Don't you know? Don't worry about the eyes and the people look. Oh, she really going for another glass? <laughs> oh no, we gotta leave. We're out of here. <laughs> don't worry about them. Go ahead, and have your fun, man. Have your fun. Have your fun. On to the next one. So, for this next review, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for this next review, we're going to do the Shandan Sparkling White Wine. Right off the bat, I can tell you that we do not particularly go for the sparkling wines at all. Um, however, we are anxious to try it because it was... Uh, so high on the list. We're ready to try. Ready to try it. Let's smell and, uh, first. Hopefully we can get through this without any pain or tears. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> what do you smell? Smell anything? <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I'm smelling. Um, we don't typically like bubbles. That's not really what we tend to like. But, um, carbonation. What do you think, buddy? Oh yeah, that sounds no, good. you can't drink it now. You can't drink it. You know, it's like a pale golden color. Mm -hmm. um, with a it is pretty. Of, with a little bit of uh, carbonation. Yeah. And fizz. Uh, but we can get into it as soon okay. as I as soon as I get my glass back. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let daddy have it. Can I have my glass back, please, son? <laughs> it's actually a lot better than what I was <clears throat> thinking. I would agree. Hmm. But what? 
This is something you just toast with. Yeah. You toast mm -hmm. one sip out of there. Um, it's not bad, you know. It's just I don't prefer the carbonation at all. However, as far as the taste, if you were celebrating something, 4th of July, happy birthday, um, gender reveal, then, you know, it's cool to just do a toast, you know, wedding, uh, reception, and everything like that. It's cool. It would be good with like some orange juice. So she's talking about a mimosa. Mm -hmm. Um, a mimosa, if you guys have had one, which if you go to brunch with your friends, your lady friends and everything like that, um, it's probably, it's, it's champagne and like orange juice or uh, I guess you can use any like citrus type juice like uh, grapefruit or it's not the greatest. I, I see why people probably get it though. They probably do get it and order it the, uh, the Shandon for mimosas. Uh, then maybe some other uh, drink. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that 100%, um, as we all should, or else he's going to cry. <laughs> Please agree. That's all I ask. Um. But, man, yes, we, uh, you know, trying these these five wines, man, has been fun, man. Very I, fun. You know, not knowing to, what to expect um, when you start and then be completely happy at the end. You know, it's really cool. You know what I mean? Uh, I think last video we went like one for two. Or no, one for three. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this one, you know, I, I can I could say that we went five for five. Um Including the last one. The last one, like I said, is just, you just pair it with um, other things like orange juice or something like that. So you, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, we've had, we, we, we had a great time reviewing these wines. Is there anything that you would like to say, sir? <laughs> when I give you the floor, you got nothing to say. Nothing. You got nothing. Thank you guys for watching the channel and watching the, the episodes that we drop uh, every two weeks or weekly, whichever one, uh, depending on how the week goes. You know, but again, we appreciate you guys for watching this video. Put it in the comments below if you've tried these ones, if there's wines that you would like us to try and that you would see that you would like to see on the channel, please let us know and we will try them. My thumb is currently getting abused. <laughs> So that means it's time to end the video. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.